A very cheerful good morning to all my dear students. Dear students, once again, you are welcome here for your English literature class. And we are going to begin with our literature chapter with our Honeysuckle NCRT book, which is recommended for class six. So dear children, we are going to begin with chapter number one, which is given on page number seven of your literature book. That is, who did Patrick's homework? So before we actually begin with the chapter, I request you all to please take out your literature books, open the page and write down the date, day and classwork on the top of the lesson. So before we begin with the reading part and the explanation of the chapter, let us go through the aims and objectives of chapter number one. The aim of the chapter is to understand the central idea and locate details in the text that is reading, to use critical thinking to read between the lines and go beyond the textbook, to use language and vocabulary in different contexts, to understand the simple instructions and narrate the incident in your own words. Dear children, this chapter is composed by N.A. Carol Moore. Let us read about the author. The author was born on July 12th in the year 1871, and she lived up to January 20th, 1961. Carol was an American educator, writer, and advocate for children's libraries. She was named Annie after an aunt and officially changed her name to N.A. in her 50s to avoid confusion with N.A. E. Moore. Another woman who was also publishing material about juvenile libraries at that time. The meaning of juvenile here is the adolescent children or either below the adolescent age. From 1906 to 1941, she headed children's library services for the New York Public Library System. Moore wrote Nicholas, a Manhattan Christmas story, one of the two runners up for the 1925 Newbery Medal. So this was all about the author. Now look at the difficult words of the chapter. Who did Patrick's homework? The word meanings here are ignorables, which means an ignorant person or a person who has lack of knowledge. Grab means seized suddenly or caught. Breeches are the short trousers. Yelled means cried uh, very loudly or maybe heavily. Hamper is a basket with a lit. Cursed means damped. Squicked means uttered shrilly. Shrieked here means shrieked loudly at the top of the pitch. Weary is tired or you may say exhausted. Slyly is secretively. Now let's have a brief introduction about the chapter, Who Did Patrick's Homework? Dear students, this is a wonderful story which has presented magical realism, which means something that is not magic, but a belief in a beautiful manner. A boy, Patrick, who gets inspired and feels propelled to work hard by an imaginary elf. Here, elf is a supernatural being. He is not only able to complete his work, rather scores high grades, once he starts believing on himself. The story conveys the message that self-help works wonders. Now let us go through the reading part of the chapter. Who did Patrick's homework? Dear children, please keep your literature book open in front of you and mark the important lines, important dates and the events and also put the slashes while reading. We'll go explanation hand in hand. 
Patrick was more interested in playing football and Nintendo, that's a video game, rather than completing his homework as he finds it too boring and hate it to an extent. He doesn't even want to study at all. For this, his teachers also warned him that he will not be able to learn anything. One day, Patrick found his cat playing with a little troll. On closely observing, he found that it was not a doll, but a small-sized man, an elf wearing a villain shirt, a tall hat and breeches, that's short trousers, just below the knee. He was in trouble and needed help, to get his life saved from cat. The elf promised to grant wish to Patrick as he saved his life. Patrick was very happy and called himself lucky. He wished that the little man will do all his homework for all 35 days. Though an elf was not interested, but still, he agreed to keep up his promise. Elf don't have any knowledge of maths and English, and thus they needed help. Patrick consulted from dictionary and sits next to him to guide him. He also worked very hard to solve the problems and brought lots of books from the library. After 35 days, Elf left, but Patrick got good grades in all his subjects. He was completely changed into a gentle and ideal boy. Although he thought that tiny man had finished all his work, in reality, he was the one who worked very hard and got good grades. Actually, he believed that Elf helped him but he helped himself. Now, after reading and the explanation of the chapter, let us read the moral of the chapter, Who Did Patrick's Homework? Dear students, the moral of this story is that hard work is the only key to success. We should always do our work by our own self and that self-help can actually produce wonders. Patrick learned this value and started to do his homework by his own. We must always do our work on our own because self-study is the best study. Now look at the assignment wherein you have the short questions. Question number one, what did the teacher say to Patrick? Whom did Patrick help and what did he look like? What type of the job did Patrick give to the elf? In what manner did the elf need Patrick's help? When did Patrick leave the elf? Why were all amazed here? The meaning of amazed is shocked, surprised or astonished. Who did all the homework in real sense? Dear children, Please go through the chapter once again, recapitulate everything and find out the answers and enjoy writing them in your practice notebook. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. I hope you have enjoyed the chapter, Who Did Patrick's Homework? And you must have learned that doing homework on your homework on your own is the best pleasure that you enjoy while studying. So dear all, take good care of yourselves and thank you so much.